Hello, this is Jennifer Van Dyke from Van Dyke Accounting, and today I want to just walk you through the quarterly BTV template or, or um, sales tax template uh, that you've downloaded. Um, when you first log into the um, spreadsheet, you'll see this first tab, which is called the instructions, and it walks you through um, in words basically what I'm going to explain to you here today. And then if you let me just my picture over so that I can go to the expense tab. So this is where you're going to input um, any money you spent this quarter um, where you can get it, um, get the sales tax back or the beta bay as we call it in the Netherlands. Um, so here's where you input um, your information and um, you can either um, yeah, copy and paste it in here um, or, or type manually type it in. Um, or sometimes I create a separate spreadsheet and then um, link it, but uh, it's, it's really your preference. So you just type in here into the green boxes. Um, you don't need to touch the orange boxes. Those have calculations. So you see um, here you've entered in 3,588 and the, and the percentage of the sales tax. And then here it's going to calculate um, for you what the, um, the amount of the expense was without the... Um, BTV without the sales tax. This is the amount of your sales tax. Um, and then it takes into account, it splits out what your sales tax is. And then you um, can fill in here whether it's um, deductible or not. Um, or if you have an accountant, the accountant will fill that in. Um, so you just keep doing that. And then you also categorize it and give the name of the company and the date that the expense uh, occurred. Uh, so that's the date it occurred, not necessarily when you um, paid it. Sometimes it's the same, but sometimes it's different. Um, and then at the bottom here, this is going to um, sum everything from this column, and um, it also is going to calculate for you at the bottom what your um, yeah, the sum of each uh, category is. And then here, if you would like to put in um, all the different categories of expenses you have, it will. Uh, it will sum all the different um, categories. So you can see here it's pulled in, it uses a formula, so all you need to do is um, put in the name of, uh, of from this column, the types of expenses. And it will um, sum everything there for you. Um, and then here in the sales tab, it's the same, except that this is the money that people have paid to you. Um, so it's uh, sales or revenue. I've filled in some um, fictitious names here, Ron McDonald and Pinity, and then put in there um, the amount that they pay to you and then their, um, the sales tax they paid. Of course, if they paid zero, you, you percentage, you put that in there too. And it, um, again, this orange part is calculating everything for you, so you don't need to touch it. Um, the nice thing is, if you go over here to the summary tab, this is all calculations pulling in from the sales and expense tab. So it's going to tell you how much um, in expenses, uh, how much sales tax from expenses in the 6% and the 21% categories um, you're entitled to get back. So that's why it's negative. And um, this is how much you owe. That's why it's positive. And then it nets the amount. So you can see here, um, based on your expenses and how much money you've taken in, you owe. Um, 644 euros and 19 cents uh, in um, to the Boston needs for sales tax. Um, so then you would log into your um, account for the Boston needs and you can fill this in. But it has everything here summarized for you. Um, so it's also handy. Um, and again, if you have any questions, um, you can feel free to contact me here. Here's my email address, and my name is Jennifer. And I from Vendai County. I hope you find this helpful. Thank you.